Northern Arrow Bus Company, meanwhile, says its services will be continuing uninterrupted. We know how valuable they were on Friday. The company is securing a court interdict at court on Sunday, barring violence and intimidation from the striking Santaco taxi affiliates. Well, the Santaco's legal team has welcomed the interdict, but denies their client's involvement in the attacks. With the very latest, ENCA's Nobusutu Hejana. Golden Arrow Bus Company says it's certain Santaco is behind the attacks on their property and will use CCTV to identify the culprits. An urgent application was brought before the Western Cape High Court on Sunday. It follows the torching of six buses amid the minibus taxi strike in Cape Town. We have more than sufficient proof and that's why we've obtained the court order. Uh, uh, Almost invariably what happens whenever there is a taxi demonstration, almost immediately uh, uh, fire is set to the buses or trains, whichever is the alternate uh, mode of transportation. Now it's not a coincidence. It cannot be a coincidence when this happens time and time again. It is, it is now more than apparent to everyone and anyone, including the police, the courts, the prosecution, that there is a connection between the demonstration uh, that is launched by the taxi associations and the damage and destruction of buses uh, and the injury that's been caused to passengers. Santaco has denied any involvement in the attacks and says the taxi industry is also concerned about the violence. Um, so the issue here is not whether Santaco uh, was the perpetrators, which we deny, they're not the perpetrators, but obviously protesters came into the, the mix. So uh, we agreed to an interdict um, um, for the greater good to assure and show the, 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 the public in Cape Town that we are committed to the interest of the individual who needs to get to work. So on the 23rd we will come back for the final interdict, at which time we hope that all of these matters would have been resolved. Santaco says it also plans to challenge the city of Cape Town's bylaws. Meanwhile, police say they'll continue monitoring the strike action. What we are picking up is sporadic incidents of criminality that we are responding to. We cannot preempt what will happen, but because we need to stay alert and focus. Yes, we are putting measures in place. The strike continues as Santaco and the Provincial Transport Department failed to reach an agreement. Nobesutu Cape Town.